Here's an interesting one for you. Remember Hogwarts Legacy? Remember that game and all of the press around it and how everybody wanted it gone? There was a big boycott that surrounded the game. The game was destined to failure until it came out and then it made a billion (laughs) dollars. And there were some loud people mad about this game. Well, the boycott didn't work. And if anything, I actually think it helped sell the game more than it probably would have without it. 15 million copies sold. Uh, There was a tremendous amount of butt hurt surrounding the game when that happened. It's about to come out for Switch. I think in the next couple of days it comes out for Switch. I I want to say November 15th, but I could be wrong on that. I'm pretty sure it's soon, though. A lot of people upset about the Switch release. They're trying to get that boycott fired up. Uh, I'm sure it'll be just as effective as the one that came before it. But the reason I'm talking about this is because the Game Awards are coming up. Uh, you can currently take a look at the nominations. I would imagine Hogwarts Legacy is in there, especially since, I mean, it was originally nominated at least for most anticipated game. It didn't win it. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom won it, and that's pretty damn understandable. Tears of the Kingdom, massive game. Zelda is on a whole nother level, but it was in there. That was the only place because it wasn't out at the time. Well, guess what? 2023 nominations have all been listed, and it's not in any category. Now, despite how you feel about the game, I'm sure there's people out there that played it and didn't care for it. The game still overwhelmingly has favorable reviews from users and critics. This is the PlayStation 5 version, currently sitting at a Metacritic score of 84 out of 100, which I would say is pretty good. User score is favorable at 8.5 out of 10. This isn't isolated to any one specific platform. As you can see here, the Xbox Series X version sits in 85, and the PC version sits at an 83. And this is just among critics. This is just among mainstream critics. We're not even looking at the user scores. So I think it's safe to say that people do like the game. Well, why is it that the game isn't nominated? Well, you know why it isn't. Reset era. Reset era and whiny people on Twitter. It's it's mostly, I think, games journalists that have a say in the Game Awards, and they all turned on Hogwarts Legacy, the gamer, famous piece of shit website that I'm sure will shut down in a matter of time, uh, went all in on the game, made multiple articles a day about how much they hated it and how it was phobic and all this shit. So here we have the industry once again pulling uh, some uh, shenanigans, though this doesn't really matter. I would argue, though, some games do benefit from it. They'll get their little Game of the Year edition. They can do that without even (laughs) being in the Game Awards. I just think it's funny because it's another example of them being hypocrites. So here are all the things. Game of the Year. Okay, you got a lot of stuff in there. Resident Evil 4 is in there. That's a great game, but it's also a remake. It's also a remake. Alan Wake 2, I've really heard anybody talk about that game in a positive light. I've heard a lot of I've heard it get a, a lot of shit from people because it's basically from what I've heard, bait and switch the game. Uh, I have no problem with Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate or or whatever that name is. I think it's Baldur's Gate. I never played any of them, though I hear it's an amazing game. People love it. Uh, Spider-Man 2, you know how I feel about that game, but that was always going to make the list. It'll probably win the most awards, to be honest. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, and 
Alan Wake 2 is there. Now, I love Mario games, but I, I'm not sure. I didn't really finish Hogwarts Legacy, so I, I can't. I can't say for sure what game of the year should be. Uh, but, you know, I think you could make the argument, considering how much it's sold, that that game should probably be in game of the year. But let's say you don't want to put it in there. Best adaptation, well, there's movies, so I guess you sh- you can't put it I see that's all movie stuff now. Gran Turismo should win that, to be honest. But they'll probably give it to this nocturne bullshit that everyone hates. Maybe best narrative, best art direction. I mean, you could put it in there for sure. It looks like the universe. It does a good job. Score and music, maybe. Best performance. That guy did his best Harry Potter invest, uh, imitation. Come on. <laughs> Games for impact. I mean, you it, it should have. You could have at least put it in one freaking category to not make it so damn obvious. Uh, but you know they did. Best action adventure game. More people talked about Hogwarts Legacy Legacy than Jedi Survivor. I'm sorry. Nobody talked about that game. Did you notice that? That game came and went. Nobody said a damn word about it, but uh, I guess it belongs in best action adventure. I mean, that's a place where you could have put Hogwarts Legacy. It could have lost. Nobody would notice. But it's not in any of these categories. Not one category. There's a reason for that. They didn't want it in there. Uh, They're hoping that that game will never get a follow-up because it made a lot of them look stupid. It really showed how powerless the industry is when it comes to to, trying to control the narrative. Uh, Made a lot of gaming outlets look stupid. Made a lot of people on Twitter look stupid, too. It showed how much nobody really gives a, a shit about their opinions and how they feel about things and uh, how much power they really wield. But for some reason, companies have always listened to them, but it didn't happen this time, and I thought that was funny. So I thought that was odd, kind of interesting. Not one nomination, and I would argue it belongs somewhere on here. Uh, for sure, either in the subcategories like best action adventure, best RPG. Like You could put it in there somewhere. Uh, but it's not. Lies of P is in there. Now, I don't know. I haven't played that game either, but, you know, definitely Hogwarts Legacy had more conversation around it than Lies of P. So, I, I mean, none of the criticism for that game came from the actual game itself. It was people whining about J.K. Rowling the whole time. But they have kept it off of this list completely. I just thought that was interesting and wanted to share it with all of you. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments how you feel about this. Uh, what do you think about it? Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.